Alright, we're back with the Cryptic Crossword. It's November 29th. This one's by Michael Curl. Let's do this. Let's do it. One across grouse meat. Any ideas on grouse? <laughs> Is it just a double definition? I think so, but I don't know what grouse means. A grouse is a bird. Oh, uh, okay. Not that that helps us in the least. Yeah. A disc jockey with a little money nearby. Adjacent? How did you get that? Um, adjacent means nearby. A disc jockey is a DJ, and a little money is a cent. Very nice. Four down. <laughs> a da- <laughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> I, can, I swear I can read. Four down, academic opener for an ass. Uh, I assume it's donkey, yeah. Sure. Um... Opener is a key. An academic is a dawn? Sure. The only dawn I know is like a mafia dawn, but maybe it, it could mean academic as well. Maybe. Who's to say? Benefit that makes a small number suffer. Uh, I assume the definition here is benefit. Mm-hmm. And... I want to say that A is A, and then, like, small number suffers, like, a number that's anagrammed. Yeah. Oh, I, I like know. that. What small numbers are there besides one, two, and three? Uh, four? Oh, it could five be four. and six? <laughs> it could be four or five. <laughs> we can come back to that. One tail wagging with great joy. One tail anagrammed. Indicated by wagging. I like that. Um, Elation. Very nice. I love anagrams. Anagrams are the best. Yeah, because exactly you know what all the letters. Yeah. <laughs> Head back with a fish. Uh, it's going to be tuna, and head is a nut. Okay, I like, believe it. Like I believe your it. nut, you know, like your noggin. A profit, another time. A gain, again. A profit, and another time is again. I clear off for a cake. I assume it's an anagram of I clear. Yeah. An eclair. Yes. I like that. And now I do want to say this is a veil, but I still don't know why. <laughs> a. It's just V, a small number. And then suffers oh. ale. So this is ah, just five. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. I guess five is, is a small number. <laughs> Dickie O'Neill's Ford name? Probably Richard. I can't make sense of this at all. Could it be an anagram of O'Neill? Oh. Indicated by Dickie? By Dickie? It could just be someone's name, right? Like Lionel. Ooh. Okay, I like that. That's that's a weird one for sure. I'm getting wine to bring in. I assume the definition is bring in or to bring in. Is this just I'm maybe? Or is it bring in like like uh to bring like a criminal? I'm not sure. Yeah, me neither. Thirteen down. Conspirators about 50 snooker players. What's 50? L? L? 50 is L. I want the definition to be conspirators. Yeah. Um, we might have to come back to this one. Disappointed town led astray. So I assume that's a, astray is an anagram indicator here of town, town led. led. And let down means disappointed. Very good. A goat is able to provide a campfire container. What's a campfire container? Could the definition just be a, a goat? Well, if it's a goat, like my first instinct is like Billy. <laughs> yeah, I was also thinking Billy. I don't have much on this. Resident in Essex traveling more. Is there an abbreviation for Essex? 
No, I'm not sure. Resident? Is it an extra? That's in okay. Essex traveling. Maybe Resident Inn is just the indicator. I do like this. I like uh, this more. Word. Yeah, more is extra, and then Resident Inn yeah. is the indicator for something inside Essex traveling. Okay, nice. You said Grouse is a bird? Yeah. They don't fly particularly well. They're like forest birds. They, oh, they spend a lot of time so, on the forest floor. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, it's Imagine kinda... being a bird and not being able to fly well. God. Yeah. Could not be me. <laughs> Could not be me. <laughs> Loaf in living room? Is it just like a type of bread? Maybe. Or is it like someone who loafs around? What do British people call living rooms? I feel like this is a double definition. I don't know. I don't know either. Long story about English leader. Surely English leader means E, right? Yeah. I was thinking long is the definition here. And it's a story surrounding an E somewhere. Yeah. We might have to come back to this one. Everyone that is joining Duke is in league. Wait, that is, is IE, right? So there's an IE in the middle of this with a duke. What if the definition is league and everyone mm. is all? Allies? Allied? Yeah, so everyone is all. That is, is IE, as in like in other words. And then uh, duke is just a bits and pieces indicator with a D here. And then allied means in league. Nice. Nice, that's, nice. That's nice. a fun clue. I'm glad we got that's that one. That's a good one. Campfire container. Maybe it's something can. Like, is able to. Billy can. <laughs> is that a goat? Or is Not that a, a campfire container? That would make this a Y. Oh, yarn? Long. Is a yarn a story? I could believe it. I could believe it. Like, you weave a tail. There's no way this is Billy you. Can, right? I, I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know. What would this be? Beef? Oh, is grouse just like a British word for... Like a, fighting? A fighting, yeah. I feel like beef makes sense here. Loaf and living room. Lounge? Lounge. Nice. Nice, nice, That's nice. That's a double definition. Just, uh... To loaf around is to lounge around. And a living room is called a lounge. Mail from Settler. I assume Settler anagrammed here. Yes. And this will just be letters. It's futile going back in time, so it often appears. There are a lot of words here. There are. I feel like going back is indicating something backwards. Yes. Like a word for futile. I agree. Mm, I'm not sure. Some bed linen he's put outside. I don't know. Put in new resident. I assume it's an anagram of resident, meaning put in. I like that. I don't know. What's that down? Sparkling wine found in tasting. I guess it's just asti. Um, those are letters from the word tasting, and asti is a sparkling wine. Nice. I assume this is an N. Yeah. In steered in like those are the letters, right? T E R. In inserted, inserted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very nice. You can go with sheet here. He's put outside. I guess set is put, and then he is just he without the s. Ah, uh, nice. Not he really. is put outside. No, I don't know where the s fits in. He is fits in. I'm not sure, but I feel good about it yeah <laughs> animal that's not terribly content what animals are there otter is the only one i can think of gator i'm not sure okay bee bird dog what is a bee bird I want it to be a collie. We can come back to this. Constant amount for aviator. Aviator could be ace. Or it, like it's a constant. Yeah, and like then it's in, like plus some amount. Space. Are 
Are you saying aviator is the definition? Yeah, and then it's like, you know, like a mathematical constant, like a letter plus a word for an amount to mean aviator. I'm not sure. Relevant language on the 4th of June. Is the 4th of June like a British holiday? Do they celebrate Independence Day, but just... A month early. A month early. <laughs> Independence from who? Because <laughs> I want to say it's like the name of a language attached to like a word for the 4th of June to mean relevant. Plenty of cargoes. Like a lot, ton, tons, loads, loads hauls. I mean, hauls would work for... Well, I was thinking hauls for cargoes. Not sure. Maybe the definition is futile. Is it so it? <laughs> so it? Appears. Is like Otios a word? Otios? <laughs> is Otios a word? I think word? it is Otios, yeah. But I looked it up and it means serving no practical purpose or result. So that does mean futile. So, oh my god. Oh my god, it's going back in this phrase. In the, in the phrase, time so it often, going backwards, it's got the phrase inside of it, right? Oh. OTS. Wow. Okay. That's wild. I guess this is that otter is after all. Sure, I still don't know why. Does otter mean not terribly content? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go with <laughs> cool. that. Beagle? Be eagle. Oh Be my god. Eagle. Germanic. Ger Germain. Like, Germain. Yeah. So German is a language. And the fourth of June is E. <laughs> Oh, it's the fourth letter of June. Okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. Cool. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I want this to be I am still. Like, import? Port is a wine. Nice. Okay. Port is wine. I am is just I am. And then import is to bring in. Very good. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. Constant amount for aviator. I assume uh, pilot. Oh. Or a plane. Because the aviator could be the vehicle yeah. too, right? A oh, pi is a constant and lot oh. is an amount. Nice. Nice. Cool. Plenty of cargoes. Loads? Oh, I guess I a guess... load is a cargo. I... Yeah. yeah, okay. I like that. It's okay. You know any rivers or river goddesses? No. Do you know any Egypts? Only one. Oh. I can get this down, I assume. Plotters? Don't know why. Um. Are potters snooker players? I believe that. Okay. Sounds like and a British. An L. Sounds like a British word for pool players yeah and then it's is surrounding it, an l meaning 50 is it isis yeah nice ah, yeah. very good i figured out how good. to that's a fun one <laughs> that was a fun one well i'm we still did it. i still don't know about billy can yeah i think we've gotten better at guessing words that we have no idea that exist yeah you like you just wrote in billy can and beef and we weren't like we don't know really what either of those mean so good job yeah you got otos <laughs> uh, there were a couple other weird ones here oh this one <laughs> lionel oh yeah. yeah dickie o'neill's forename that's good i was proud to get that one yeah, that was a good one. I yeah, I guess otter is not yeah. terribly content. I'd need to know what a can you look up what a billy can is? Oh well, yeah, so a billy can is an Australian term for a lightweight cooking pot in the form of a metal bucket. Huh. The more you know. Australian. Australian. Trialin. Sorry to all Yeah, the no, I'd, I'd take that back. <laughs> <laughs> well, um thanks right, for what yeah. oh what? Huh? No, you go. Oh. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>